We're going to read the story of the magic string. And after we read our story, we'll find different letter sounds in this book to do some handwriting practice in print and cursive. And at home, you can get your handwriting pages out, you can get your markers and your crowns, and you can make your own book of the magic string. And or you, if you want to be creative, you can even do your own story. So let's get started. The Magic String Doris has four baby ducks. They are ducklings. Doris shows them how to swim. Three can swim. Only Dennis cannot swim. Do what I do, says Doris. Dennis tries to swim like Doris. Dennis starts to sink. Doris pulls Dennis out of the water. Dennis sits on the grass. The other ducklings swim by. Doris takes Dennis into the water. There's Dennis on Doris's back. He's gonna learn how to swim. Paddle your feet, flap your wings. Dennis paddles, Dennis flaps. Dennis starts to sink again. Look, I have a magic string, says Doris. There's the magic string. What does it do, asks Dennis. It makes ducklings swim, says Doris. Dennis swims. Doris smiles. She swims away. You see the magic string? It's helping Dennis swim. Dennis flaps his wings. The string comes off. Dennis swims around the pond. Dennis sees the string is gone. Dennis starts to sink. The string is not magic, says Doris. You can swim. Yes, you can, say the other ducklings. Dennis smiles. Of course I can, he says. I can swim. Okay, that was a great story about how Dennis learned to swim. He needed his magic string at first, but eventually he didn't need his magic string. It just helped him learn how to swim. Next, we'll do some handwriting. That was a picture of Doris the duck. So if you get one of your handwriting pages out, you can draw a picture of 
Doris and I will write her name in print and cursive and you can write it too. So first I'm going to write Doris in print. Whether you're doing print or cursive, you can do whichever one you're working on. And Doris starts the letter D sound. Doris. So here's the D sound. And then in cursive, here's the name Doris. That would be the mom, right? Doris. And there's the D letter sound. Doris. That was a picture of Dennis the duck. So let's write Dennis's name. It also starts with the letter D. First I'm gonna do print. Dennis. There's your D sound. And I'll write in cursive. Whoopsie, that's not cursive. Dennis, and there's your death sound. So there's Dennis's name. As Dennis is trying to learn to swim, the last picture I showed you was a picture of him sinking. So we're going to write the word sink because <clears throat> Dennis isn't flapping his, his wings and he's not, um, pat he's not paddling and he's not flapping his legs. So that's why he's sinking. So we're going to write the word sink. That starts with the s sound. And on your handwriting page, you can draw a picture of Dennis sink, sinking in the water. Sink. Here's cursive. And there's your s sound. Sink. That was a picture of Dennis sitting on the grass and he looked sad because he couldn't swim by himself. But remember, he'll get there with help of the magic string. But we're going to write the word since he's sitting on the grass, we're going to write the word grass. That starts with the letter sound. G. G. Grass. G. Grass. Here's cursive. And there's your G sound, grass. That was a picture of after the magic string fell off, Dennis began to paddle and flap his wings. <clears throat> 
So let's write the word flap. Let's start with the letter sound. F. A bird flaps their wings to fly and to swim. So let's write it in, cur in print first. Flap. Flaps, and then in cursive, it's like this. Flaps. There's your f sound. Flap. That was a picture of Dennis finally learning to swim. So <clears throat> let's write the word swim. Starts with the letter sound s. Swim. There's your s. Swim. There's your s letter sound. Swim. <laughs>